You know, generally speaking, throughout American history, for, through the first few centuries of American history, sports were not things that women did. They, they weren't allowed to do these things. These opportunities did not exist for them. Sports were for men. Uh, sports were places where men developed uh, leadership traits and uh, character traits that were that were valued in in men and these weren't necessarily the the traits that society valued in in women and when women tried to play sports they were told that they couldn't participate in sports when women started participating in sports really in the at the start of the 20th century there was a, a reaction among men and there were a lot of concerns and I, I said men I should say men and women as they had concerns about women participating in sports. And generally speaking, they had two concerns. One concern was that female bodies just weren't up to the challenge, that they just could not do what male bodies could. They couldn't run 26 miles. They couldn't do the the rings and gym, gymnastics. They just couldn't do things that, that male bodies could. And there was a concern that female, female bodies would be would be damaged. But the other concern, and it's, it's related to this, is a concern that the female body would become unsexed. You know, it would become less female. It would become less feminine. And some of these concerns, you know, are just this weird science stuff that we look at now. There are ideas that if a woman exerted herself too much, that she would lose her reproductive abilities. You know, if a woman ran too far, her uterus would literally slip out of her body. I mean, these were actual ideas being being offered up by by scientists, by by by, by leading experts at the start of the 20th century. But over the course of the 20th century, when I explore women's sports, I, I do see these anxieties, maybe not to that same degree, they remain. And there are these anxieties that if girls and women participate in sports, they'll become too muscular, they'll become too aggressive, that their bodies will become a little too unfemale. And look, if we accept the idea that muscles and strength uh, are, are masculine traits, well, yeah, then sports do make girls and women masculine, but we don't need to accept that dichotomy, right? We can proceed that the muscles and strength, these are human traits, but that's the sort of dichotomous gendered way of, of, of thinking about it.